We Were Here Too is a co-op adventure set in a medieval castle where you and your partner are trapped in different parts of the castle. You must solve puzzles via walkie-talkie in order to get out alive. Now on to the video. Our options this time are Lord and Peasant. Our Lord and Peasant. <laughs> Just the two of us keg keg what the hell? Us kegend. Again, those are parentheses. Oh, oh. I thought it was a C and a D at the end. It does look like a C, yeah. Kegend. It does look like a C and a D, you're right. No, it's just the two of us. That was the name of the lobby last time. <laughs> How's push and talk? Is it I P? Okay, it's right click to push and talk. I seem to be, as before, I seem to be in a dungeon with a lot of coffins and stuff. Doors locked. Uh, oh, in like a dungeon, there's like a waterway. What did the end of your cutscene look like? Did you just go down some? Yeah, I went down some stairs, and I guess, and we opened up a, a trap door of some kind with a weird symbol in it on it. Okay, so I have a, like, dais, a little platform, I guess, with some stairs, and then on it, a stone box with a combination that I can put in. Oh, I think I understand then, because uh, there's spots with coffins and spots without coffins, and all these spots have symbols above them, so I guess I tell you the symbols... Uh, for the ones that have the coffins. So what are the symbols? Is there like an order? Do they have like a... like list? No. Alright, I'll just tell you. The first one I'm looking at is a rose that almost looks like a fox at the same time. The second one is an upside down person without a head. And the third one is an hourglass. It's kind of hourglassy. Oh, nice. What is this? No, can't interact with these. Yeah, the order didn't matter because only one, like, only the symbols only appeared once. Through the... What? What is going on? So I have like a ritual space, <laughs> like I'm about to. My love for you. And there's some like symbols on the wall. I, I'm struggling to read this because I can't read cursive too well. But it says my love for you. Uh, blank with the uh, eternity of a thousand suns. Your beauty, there's at bright as the light of the stars and a, at colorful of the notes in our garden. I probably butchered that, by the way. Look here, that's also written in cursive, but it's very 
long. It says, Dear B, I have never been as happy in my life than the moment I met you, and I am honored to receive your love in exchange. I wish I had, could be with you forever, and the promise of your eternal love is very thrilling, but the sacrifice is too great. I cannot let you get through, go through with this. It says get. I cannot let you get through with this. I cannot let you destroy that strong, pure heart of yours. I hope you would understand the things I have done to keep you from making this big mistake. I want you to remember me as I was on that summer night in the Rose Gardens. I want you to remember I will always love you, and I want you to remember I will always be with you where, even when I am not in this earthly world anymore. Love you forever. And then there's like a ton. So there is, on the right side, there is like candles with numbers on them. You said there's candles with numbers? Yeah, there's candles, and each, there's like six candles, and each candle has a number on it. Okay, so starting like, I have no frame of reference for what is north. If you start like counterclockwise, I, I need to know which, which order they're in, but I... So one, two, three, four, five. Six. Ah, oh, I think I understand. So light the, the top left one first. And then the second one is the top right one. The third one is the bottom right one. And the fourth one is the bottom one. The fifth one is the top one. And the sixth one you're gonna light is the bottom left. Okay, I think he did something. She unlocked the door? Where is yeah. that? Okay, I have a symbol that's glowing for me. It looks like an upside down person with an X through his head. And there's another one that kind of looks like a scorpion. In a way, it's got three pointy appendages, like arrows. torso. I need one more symbol. Does he have, like... He has legs that are shaped like a U and have circly ends at the points of the top of the U. Does his body extend past the U? Yes. The other one has a head. Uh, let's say he, he's a cyclops, because it's kind of giving me cyclopsy vibes. Uh, and it has another U, with, and the ends are arrows, or triangles, I should say. And he's got uh, a weird s s small legs. And then a tail with a triangle end. The art style, the art style in this game, they really kicked it up in the last game. It, this looks really good. Does this guy have, like, his fists up in? Yeah. Does he look like, so it's, he looks like a monkey, basically. Yeah, he kind of gives that monkey, he has that monkey look to him. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can interact with. Hello! Open up! I 
need answers. This book, maybe? Uh, it looks different. Yeah, I'm trying everything. I, I, I can't find it. I, it's my opinion, but I feel like if you have to look through for a walkthrough for a game like this, it shouldn't be that difficult. So what gives? What are we missing here? Okay, I have another thing I'll point out, just in case. The scorpion and tail guy, uh, he's facing upwards. So is his tail. His tail is kind of facing upwards. Because his tail goes down, then it kind of goes back up a little bit. To the, uh, right. And you said his head is a cyclops that's... I said Cyclops because he's got a, let's say, just a circular head inside that head. There's a, there's another circle, but it's filled in. Oh, I think you did it. I did. Is there symbols by the floor now? I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you the symbols or... I don't know. I need to have one continuous line and all the symbols. It's not really in order, but it's more about the... I guess it is. Yeah, but then... Yeah, she cut off. Huh? <laughs> okay, so the first one, the first symbol, is what we're going to start from. The first symbol is the square-ish shape with a vertical line through it. And then we'll go over to the fish symbol. And from the fish symbol, you go to the chicken feet and lightning bolt. And then to the two X's. And then from there, go to the fat hourglass. And then the skinny hourglass. Well, the hourglass that uh, connects in the center. And then the X with a horizontal line through it. And the last one is an X with two squares on the inside of the left and right. Come on! Give me the power! Wait, what was that? I, saw, I thought I saw something. That was probably that. Can I interact with this at all? No? I think... I can interact with them, and they make like a little fine line of fire. I think I need to figure out how to get them to fill the whole pit. Okay. So how do you do that? Oh no 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 no! Okay. I drink poison. I stab myself. I'm not reading that. I don't even think I can. Oh, there we go. Door is locked. Huh. And what do I do? I, I got the pattern right. If oh. I oh, a room opened up. I didn't see it before. Oh, it just locked me in the room. I got graveyard sounds. I think I'm about to be killed off. symbols there's one two three four five six seven squares and they all have like hope probably maybe six shapes on the uh, each side of them and in the center there's a coffin and on top of the coffin is where i place the blocks do you mean it's just six because are you counting this one square twice is it one two three four five six seven no there's seven squares. 
Okay, well I have a compass and some different some some different Okay. Um the comp oh I'm about to fall into lava. The compass is um oh Are you falling into lava? Oh, mm. uh, I guess that answers my question. Oh, yeah, well, I fell into lava. Okay, I got stuck in a room where I'm on a staircase and the stair- I'm like in a spiral staircase with lava at the bottom and then the staircase is like slowly sliding away. But I saw like a lever and I didn't know what to do about it. So I tried to get to it, but it was too late. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have to click it. Oh, that's not even a button. That's just word game. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they they put as much work as they could into it. Mm. The actual. The. Oh, don't make us. Yeah, the actual like atmosphere. I answered the right room. Okay, so you need to get the fourth cube from the left. That was the fourth cube, um, which fourth cube from the left is just center for me. Okay, then get the third cube from... Third cube from the left. That worked. Yes, it's the left door. Okay, then take a uh, cube, the fifth cube from left. That was the wrong cube. The heck, this guide is dumb. Try the third, the, 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 the. That worked. All right, this door is on the right side. Then try the fourth cube. I swear if it's wrong. <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> There's a timer on it. This, I don't understand what is trying to be done. That was correct. Oh my gosh, what were the, the numbers? What, what do you mean numbers? There wasn't any numbers. What were the shapes that you were pulling from the... They were just normal shapes. There wasn't really an order for me. I, technically there was, but like, it was just, I needed help finding it. I'm so confused as to what that was trying to accomplish. And I still don't understand after we did it with the gun. <laughs> <laughs> but we got through it, so it's fine. Look, I am in a room that is a bunch of lava, but there's a ship's wheel and some knights that I can interview. Okay, let me just get to the end of the room. Oh goodness, I am fighting a demon it looks like. Okay, so I'm in a room and there's wheels that move occasionally. I don't- I think you might be the one moving them. I can stop them. So I think the idea is you're gonna crush me? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so there's symbols I can interact with. And the symbol on the uh, right side, if you entered in the room, there's an eagle 
some kind of white bird with a cross, uh, cross, uh, has crosses on this, on this, uh, this clothing that you wrap around your neck and just let drape over your shoulders. And on the other one is a, uh, what do you call it? It's a white and black and. What's that? Oh, you have, you have two. So you're gonna have to speak up. I can't hear you over the intense music. You said you have an eagle shield? No, and there's, yes, yeah, an eagle on a shield. And then there's like a badger. A white and black badger on the other shield. Is the eagle's shield, is it like a shield shape or? It's a shield shape. I don't think the shields matter because they're all the same, exactly the same. Wait, so I have weapons that I can give to knights that have different animals above them. So are there any indication to what weapons I need to give them? I can't, I can't see him because I'm in the process of being crushed. Oh, okay, so under the eagle looking thing, whatever it is, it's got an axe and a shield. And under the badger, it's got an axe. And there's a, what looks like a monster, black and white monster lion. And he's got some wicked looking sword. And we got a another badger, white and black badger that has just a shield. Okay, there's two badgers. One has a sword. Okay, the badger. One is holding. Uh, the badger is holding a shield, and that's the the front left. And the back left badger is holding an axe. I think I'm preventing you from being crushed because I have to re-spin this wheel backwards. That's exactly what you're doing. So the, the sword, does it have like a notch in it or is it just like curved? All right, let me look. All right, the sword has, it almost has like a lightning bolt look to it. I have a bunch of different weapons. Like I have an, a single headed ax and then a double headed ax too. Okay, all the axes in this room are all double-headed. Well, the axe on the right side where the eagle is, is a smooth, almost all the way down towards the bottom, there's a little notch missing. And on the back side of the axe, there's a gap in the middle with two pointy ends on it. And the other side on the back left is one of the badgers. It has an axe with two notches in the front of it. And then it's, uh, there's no notches in the back part of the axe. So each, okay, just start with the eagle. What does the eagle have? Does he have two weapons and a shield or just? It has one weapon and a shield. Okay, is the shield round or shield? The shield is round and it has notches on the bottom, the top, and the left and right. It's an, uh, it looks like an oral battle axe with a notch on the bottom front part of it. And then the back side of it, it has, there's a gap in the middle, not a notch, it's just a gap in the middle. Okay, that's the, Next, let's do the lion tail, the, the lion rat. Okay, for the lion rat, it kind of, it's a sword that kind of looks like a lightning bolt. It's got two pointy ends on the front side of it, uh, which, I don't know, uh, and then the back side 
has at the bottom part of it, it has a little bit of a, a hook to it. Is the lion guy or the uh, is he holding his sword in his left or uh, he's holding it in his right hand. Alright, it's gonna crush me soon. Oh, dang it! I just got to the wheel, too. Okay, I figured it out. Okay. <sighs> that was my fault. I probably should have warned you sooner. I didn't think about it until it yeah, was... <laughs> Like, oh yeah, I'm getting crushed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, oh there's no impending danger. Oh wait, I'm about to die. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, I figured it out. I figured out what needs to happen. It's just annoying because I have to keep running back and forth between like the little armor stands and the the knights to give them their weapons. So and then I have to also keep you from being crushed. Yeah. <laughs> it takes me a long time. Ugh, no, I get that it. That one's easier. You just have to describe the weapons to me. And okay, so what's the next? The smallest. One? The smallest one is. Okay, it's got almost a squarish. It's not squared in shape, but I mean the the points that stick out in the middle of the sword. There's like a like almost a rhombus kind of thing. Uh. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's got a... And then the... Okay, it's got two... It's got two enlarged spots. One's the... Squarish... Or rect... Rectangle-ish. I don't know. Is it, like, chipped, almost? No, it's not chipped. It comes out. But it... It's not sharp, either. Well, I mean, it, I mean, it is sharp, but I mean, it doesn't come out to a point. All right, give me the next animal knight. Oh, you got it. His eyes turned red. All right, so the... I'm going to do the, the whole left side, I guess. So I'm going to go towards the right side of the room, the back right. Okay, this knight, he's under a deer, an elk with arrows... What looks to be maybe four arrows? No, it's two arrows going through it. And, uh... And, uh, two arrows going through it. And he's got some, uh, decorations in his antlers a little bit. Okay. What weapons does he have? He has a spiked club. So, at the top of the spiked club, there's a spike at the very top, pointing up. And it's got like a pentagon-ish shape to it, I think. And, uh... It's got three spikes going down it on each... on each side of the pentagon. And it's got like, uh... It's got little... It's, uh, the pentagon... I found the one you're looking for. Um, is it in his right or left hand? Okay. So it's in his left hand. You said his left. Yes, his left. You got it. Alright, so the front, le front left guy, which is an eagle with the cross, crosses draped around his, with the crosses draped around his shoulder. An eagle with a cross draped around his shoulder. Uh, on his left hand, he has a sword, and on his right hand, he has a, uh, a shield. It's a shield with a notch taken out from the top, the bottom, and bo each side. The sword has, at the bottom of the sword, it almost looks like, uh, like two points that almost come together, and they're very sharp. But it's like separated from the metal, it's from each other. And at the, towards the top of the blade, it's got a, uh, it's got a notch on the back side of it. Dun, 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 
Dun, dun, dun, dun. Okay, next. Wait, you got it? Oh, you did. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, the next one is a badger. And the badger's wearing a hel- <clears throat> a, a, a helmet, like a knight's helmet of some kind, and it's holding a sword. His left hand is holding a shield. It's a round shield. And it's got five circular uh, metal. It's a wooden shield, and it's got five circular metal uh, uh, surfaces. So it's got this. It's got four small circles, which is top, bottom, left, and right. And then the center has a really big met piece of metal. Is that shield in his left or right? Left. Okay, weapon. And its weapon is an axe and with the hook that goes over the top of it. It just goes way past the uh, the handle. It's pretty big, wicked hook it's got. And a bottom part of the axe it has a little bit of. Well, it's a big notch. It's a pretty big notch. And the back side of the the axe has a uh, has a gap in between the bottom and the top. Yay! Like where they forgot to put detail above the door. The left side. Okay, I see a grid-ish thing going on, and there's a mansion at the end of the grid. But to the left side of this wall, there is a lever. What is this? Okay, there's two levers. One gives me power, I think, and then there's a red lever. Uh-huh. I have... A grid with a little, like a little mansion at the end of it. And then I have stained glass windows on either side of the room. And there's like banners of those animals that we were seeing on the shields in the last room. Yeah, I see that too. For me, it's just, it might, those might be decorations, but just in case. Now, the animals on the shields are badgers holding swords. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the switch because I think that's one thing I need to do. Have you guys heard this one? Here oh. in the castle. Oh. Dark, I well, I can walk down the stair. Like, in. Maybe hey, good. I, I didn't really catch what he's saying, but. He, oh. Oh. What the. Oh, they forgot to put detail here. I thought it was a mirror. This isn't supposed to be here. I have a, a shield on my mansion that's like a lion with a crown. I can't really tell. I mean, it, it, the shield's too small for me to tell. Okay, the stained glass. I have three windows, two stained glass windows towards the front of the room. At the very front of the room. Uh, and I think they're clues because I could click on them. So the left window, stained glass window, is it looks like a king that murdered the queen because the king has a little sinister look to him. And the queen, she looks to be bleeding out, and she's holding the dagger. She so said there's a king at the top, and then a queen lady with a braid who's, like, holding a dagger that's got, you know, looks like she... <laughs> yes. I Is want the to bottom jump in the fire. of the stained glass, like, some trees and some weapons? Yes, the bottom it's got like two trees on either side and it's got some swords and whatever those weapons are, I can't really tell. And stained glass in the middle window is a, uh, let's see, he's got a, what looks to be some type of vicious animal on his head. 
I can't really make it out which animal it is. But it's like a normal helmet you go out to war with, or a knight, a knight's helmet. And he's got what looks like, is that onions, flower buds? I don't know. On his shoulder guards. And on his chest plate, there's badgers with swords. And the lady has a dagger in her hand, a bloody dagger in her hand. She's got red hair and for some reason, I think her neck was uh, cut. Um, the king in the first stained glass window, his lady, um, she's a queen with holding a dagger. She doesn't have red hair. Well, she's not wearing like a queen's crown. I just kind of assumed because, y you know, the king, I thought maybe the king got mad and was like, yeah, but she has golden hair and she has a really fancy dress uh, with like, uh, like if the sleeves are have the little ripples in them as well as well, the dress has red lines going through it, and the dress is green. Except for the chest area, which is... It's got a mix of red-ish and green, um... Shapes mixing together a little bit. And she has flowers in her hair. She has flowers in her hair. Is she holding a dagger? Yes. Kind of. Uh, it's more like the dagger she's... It's just laying on her and her hands laying over the dagger. Okay, can you describe to me the bottom panel of the, the stained glass on the... Okay, so... The bottom is two trees. One on the left, one on the right. And then there's swords and maybe torches, I'm guessing. The swords are pointing down. There's only two swords on the left and right. And all this is, by the way, is mirrored. So what you see on one side, you can see on the other. And there seems to be four torches looking things. Okay, so let's move on to the final window. What do you have? So it's the same helmet. Pretty much. It looks like maybe a seal thing. This guy's beard, he's got a gnarly beard. It's like pretty big and it's uh, uh, reddish in color. And he's got flower buds on his shoulder, on his shoulder blades. And I can't see the symbol, but for this one, the person that is dead, or got hit by arrows, got three hit by three arrows. It's a knight. And he's wearing almost the same helmet. And let's see. And the scenery down below, it looks like a bunch of trees. It's two trees, uh, two perfectly upright trees, and it's mirrored. And then we got another tree on the left and right just coming into frame like kind of at an angle is it a bunch of dead trees or a bunch of like alive it's hard to tell it looks kind of like they could be alive like there is I imagine they're alive since I can't just see only the branches, so. Kitty! Ah, uh, meow! Or my cat. Mm, I think I have the wrong treescape. Hold on. Kitty, you're a good girl. You're a good girl, Kitty. It's not a fountain in the middle, is it? Was that this one? No, there is not a fountain in the middle. 
Uh, look at the floofy tail. Look at it. My tail. Put it in the camera. Man, you have to be really descriptive for this game. It's like... How much information do I have to tell this person before we get it right? I, I see... There's so much details you have to point out. It's like, oh, I think I got everything. No, you have to name the type of the trees, too. Jeez, man. It's not supposed to be that difficult. At least I don't think it should be that difficult. Yay! Win the battle in the name of Amber Adelaide. Okay, so that that table I had with the uh, mansion on it and it's the grid It now has pieces on it And I guess I'm supposed to move my piece towards the house somehow So you have pieces do your pieces include uh, little rocks? Yes, little rocks and what I can assume is my piece is a round circular piece with like uh, two swords on the top of it where is that piece sitting it's so sitting towards the like front or the bottom and off sons, the stage attack the gates all right then move to the left uh no don't uh, you, yeah 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 that's fine that's fine then go to the right once and then backwards to and then go to the left. That puts you in front of a rock, right? Yeah. Okay, go to the right until you're on the other side of that rock. Of that rock on the right. Okay, and then can you move forward? Three. Where are you right now? Remind me. There's a square, I mean, there's a rock that's almost dead center and it's by itself. I'm two spaces in front of it. Two spaces in front of the rock? So are you closer to the- No, 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 I meant behind it. I'm not, I'm behind the rock. Um, so, evenly diagonal. Are they, so are they on either side of the tower? Or where are they? They're on either side of the tower, but each are one space from the tower. Like it's night space, tower space, night right now for those four squares or those, I guess, five squares. So what does it look like now? Um, I think you just did it. Um, yeah, I was going through it in my head. I think I am like, it should be to the left side of that one rock towards the front. And then the other one would be in front of the rock on the left. Correct. So if you move forward one, yeah, and then to the right one, and then forward again. I thought so, but I just wanted Victory. to make sure. Wait, this was a trap. My sons, oh, what have I done? That was long. Oh my god, that was awful. At least we got through it. Oh, hi. How you doing down there? Oh, hi. Did I jump down there? Oh, what was that? Uh, yeah, there's an X. Are you going towards the X? Where, where do you want to go? Oh, 
I'm guiding you towards the X. Okay, so keep going that way. Don't go over there. Don't go over there. Don't go over there. Go, yeah, that way. Not there. Not there. Okay, it's mirrored and it's the normal path. Right. Okay, so this one's... Hmm, let me see. Let me see. So you want to... Keep going forward... Until you could take your first left. And then you want to take a... Uh, well, you... So, keep going forward, left. And... You want to keep going forward until you could take another left and then so left left right right up there uh, where is it where is it where is it so I think there's a wall there uh, where is it? It's not... I don't think it's below me. Alright, so it's gotta be... It's gotta be at the top right, then. So to get there, there's only one path there. So you wanna stay at the... Just keep going forward. And then... Let me... Don't go yet. Yeah, why did you fall? Cat, don't do that. Okay, and then... So forward. You want to take a left. And then your first... So forward. Hmm. Left, right. Left. Outermost circle. Right. So I'll guide you. Just... When you're ready, go. So left, and left again. Now you want to take a right. Now you want to go left. Now you go right, 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 right. Oh, you got it. Okay, go to the middle. Oh, no, never mind. You're on... I didn't realize you're on one. I can't see it. I just had to guess which one, where it was, I mean. Okay, so for this one, you want to go out to the left. So you want to go left, left again, and then so left, 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 and you're good. Just keep going left. There we go. That was easy. Okay, but well now what? Hello? Hello? I don't like the implications of where I am. I'm in a cell, but beneath me is just a grate that opens into lava. Hold on a second. Oh my god, oh, I had to do something real quick. Okay. Um, I have a, almost like a combination lock thing with symbols on it. Okay, the door just closed behind me. Uh, I'm trying to find any clues. Over here. Oh, yeah, I have a combination lock too. Can you move the combination? Yeah, I can. Um, uh, okay, this one has an arrow on it and it's pointing to a 
plaque above the combination lock that has like a triangle and a circle a triangle and a circle uh, so it's like a triangle and there's a circle inside of it yeah so which way is it pointing the triangle it's pointing down all right got it Okay, on my end, I just have three symbols. Uh, and I did the first top one, which was the triangle one. And there's two below it. And the other side's the same looking thing. Wait, do you not have the combination thing on this, on this side over here? Oh, I have them on both. It's on both sides. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, oh, there's a book here. Never mind, I can't read it. I get to watch you burn, though. Yeah, slowly but sure. <laughs> do you... So, what do you have? Literally, I just have these coffins and those combination locks, but I can't interact with you with anything at all. So tell me the combinations. Well, they're the... S I mean, they're the opposite of yours. There's... Alright, tell me the square root of the T. Is it square? Because you just mentioned symbols that I have. You said square with a T in it. Can you explain that further? Because I can't find it. Well, I think I just have the back of what's ever, whatever is on your... Like, you're turning them and I can just see what's on the back. So what... Uh, what's the circle one? It's just a circle with an X through it on the top. Uh, what do you mean circle with an X through it on the top? On the, on the top, on the, the top, um... Do you only have two wheels? There's three wheels. I have three. It was nice knowing you. How fitting, a burning sense of dread. I don't think that was a sense of dread. I think you were just burning. <laughs> what the walkthrough says is the combination lock for the peasant's prison cell is the same each time. Below is the combination, but then it just says from top to bottom, two, five, four, and then left, and then top to bottom, five, four, four. So I know what that means. So I'll just remember that sequence and I'll press it in that many times in that order when the next game starts. Goodbye! I can't interact with anything in there. Like, what? I don't understand. Uh, I don't know. You're free! We cheated, but you're free! That's it. That's all that's in here. Wow. Wait, hold on. I'm so curious. So how the heck are you supposed to figure this out? I feel like I was supposed to be able to access this book. But I can't. It's so weird. That's so weird. I don't understand why it's so vague. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Okay, we're gonna die. Where 
Where'd you go? I'm always behind you. Where is it? a wiggly wheel? It's a wiggly wheel. screaming go up the whole time i saw the lava and it was going down i was like no <laughs> what the heck oh i pressed the one over there i should have done that oh goodbye it's nice knowing you well now well you boys are doing quite fun and sometimes that pisses me off <laughs> hello Hi. Some. I, did you hear the same voice? Sometimes that pisses me off. <laughs> see that because my side uh, if this is my side i've been pulling all the levers because if this is my side yeah so we have to go back through and pull the levers so we have to go back through and find all the levers i guess i don't think that's it that's, this, this game has a, a good ending and a bad so if we want the good ending, I think we want to pull all the levers. Probably. But one of them like led to my death and I couldn't pull it, so I don't know what that like. I'm gonna go exploring. Never mind, it's locked. I think we're getting the bad ending. Okay, we pulled the lever. I think we should be good. We just go back up and hey, don't walk forward anymore. You're gonna fall. <laughs> you're like a concerned father. For me, you're just levitating over the pit of lava. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I pressed the up arrow. You would have been fine. I, did you hear me scream pit of lava? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, no, no. What are you doing? Up, up. Up. Oh my gosh. Why, why? Why'd you do it? No, 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 no. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get, get, get. <laughs> Dang it. It was, I pressed the down button on this. Oh, it's for when it's up there. Never mind. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look. 
Oh, hi, buddy. What is he doing there? I pressed it first. I wish I could push you. You go from. Oh no, don't run. No! Oh. No! Why? Why did you jump in? Apparently, we both can't ride the elevator at the same time. I knew that. I didn't think you'd jump on. All right, I'll let you go up. No, no, no. You go up. I, I left last time. It's your turn. Okay, okay. Goodbye. I'm through it, so maybe try. Oh, yeah, that's right. Never mind. I was gonna say I'm through the gate right now. If, like somehow you get up here to me. I mean, I could watch you walk out. Yeah, I guess you have to be holding to the uh, the thing. Hi. Hi. So I guess that's it. It's up to you, my lord. Go, be free. I don't think there's anything else we could do. I think this is it. This is all we could do. I mean, according to the guide, it's my fault that we're getting left behind anyway, because I didn't pull all the levers. <laughs> Yeah, apparently there's, I think there's one lever I missed on my end. I'm not sure. Well, they both have um, a missing light, so. I'm going to go on. It was nice knowing you. Go on without me. Goodbye. Keep our memory alive. I don't love credits. I was about to be like, oh, that's it. That's all the credits. We're done. <laughs> oh, done. But there's a little bit. There we go. That's it. No, nope, no. Nope. Nope. Oscar. Beta testers. I wonder if there's any famous YouTubers in here. If that's even a thing. I mean, could be. But I don't. I mean, there's Toaster. Could be a YouTuber. I just don't know any of them. Yeah. I have yet to see a single one that... These are all probably just call the college kids. They're like, oh yeah, I'll play. I'll play on my YouTube channel. Floppy Penguin. I feel like these are real guys, maybe. Real guys, maybe. Little Tom nine I don't know what I meant by that. <laughs> Total Mayhem Games. Mm -hmm. We were here. Two.
Well, nice. Yeah. That was pretty fun, except for the parts where we were just stuck. Yeah, some of those puzzles, like, the two, the two that we had to use the walkthrough on that didn't really make any sense and still don't really make any sense, like the combination and the, what was it, the stairway one? Weird. Where it just, like, even the guide was like, this is what you do, and it, like, didn't make any sense. Yeah, hopefully their next games are a lot better. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next video.